So, good evening, everyone. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Pradhaf Kumar. Uh, Sar is very, very active in all the academic events. And uh, he is now the Shoulder and Elbow Society of India president. And, uh, and he will be sharing his knowledge and we'll be discussing a lot of OSCEs in, in the uh, elbows. So I, I hope all of you will participate uh, very actively and uh, let's make this uh, you, you know, a really good learning experience. So please feel forward, feel free to uh, discuss and uh, answer the questions. Over to you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Balu. Thank you. Um, disclaimer, I've never been an examiner for this thing, kind of uh, um, uh, courses. Uh, what I am reproducing is uh, my FRC's ortho orthopedics exam. Uh, can everyone see that? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm audible, isn't it? I'm audible as well. Yes, sir. Very clear. Uh, Babu, welcome. Yeah, yeah, welcome, Pratap. <laughs> wow. Okay, so good evening. Go ahead. Good evening, good evening. So we will go ahead. I don't know anybody's name. So what I will suggest is uh, Balu, if you can pick up somebody. Okay. Balu, Balu, uh, yes. Balu, if uh, Balu, me, if Balu, me, and uh, the speaker can stop, uh, can, uh, can be active with the uh, microphone, uh, most of them will be muting it. Uh, Balu, can you can you pick up uh, people? Okay, I don't know the candidate, so if you can. Oh, of course. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think I think we'll start with Shinas. Shinas, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. So what I will do? What I will do is uh, I'm going to uh, uh, present some cases on uh, elbow, exclusively el elbow. Not going to talk as an elbow surgeon. Uh, I'm going to um, you know present it as a general orthopedic surgeon, that is what is expected of you in the exam. So the house rules, this is uh, uh, something, the exam is a platform for you to you know, bring out what, whatever you know and um, don't buckle in front of uh, the examiner. Look at the examiner's eye, be loud, uh, precise and audible. Okay, uh, need to be, whatever you know has to be presented in that time that time frame, then only you, unless you open your mouth, you open your mouth, you can score. If you open your mouth wrongly, you will lose mark. Okay, so it's a very thin ice, you will, you are going to walk on. Okay, so the examiners generally are good guys. They won't uh, pester you. They want to bring out what you know, rather than what you don't know. Okay, so be friendly with them. Okay, but one thing is that be safe. What you are, we are looking for is a safe doctor to practice. Okay, so that's the case one. Uh, who is that, Balu? Balu, who is the? Shinas, Shinas. Shinas. Uh, this is a 27 year old techie. He was involved in a 40 kilometers per hour RTA, a two wheeler accident. He fell onto his uh, uh, right, onto his um, uh, right elbow. But can, can you describe what you see? Balu, first 10 minutes, you need to give me a bus, okay? Sure, sir, sure, sir. Okay. Srinath? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Describe what you see. Uh, it's a, uh, 3D recon a CT with the 3D reconstruction of the elbow. Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, ready is, uh, we, ready that, that, that is what we are looking for, okay? Can you see that? Radiohead fracture. Yes. yes. Radial? Uh, Radiohead fracture. Radial head fracture. Okay, I can okay. tell you because I have only one view. It's a radial displaced radial head fracture involving the neck. Okay. So, how do you assess this patient? It's acute trauma, it's an isolated elbow injury. Uh, first, I check the stability of the elbow. Okay. Uh, if, the elbow, if the elbow is stable. No, uh, patient is in pain, in agony. He won't let you. So what will you do? Range. Uh, I will examine the range of movement. Srinath, go to your basics. Okay. Go to your basic. Look. Uh, please look, feel, move. So look part. What can you see? Uh, 
swelling okay fine good then good tick yeah swelling uh, external injuries okay abrasions today yes sir sir any other external injuries yes uh, around the elbow Human deformity joints. again visible deformity of exa the elbow exa exactly visible deformities From, uh, then hello ah i'm hearing uh, then then on palpation uh, coming yeah, to pal coming yeah. to palpation i will yeah. uh, examine the exact point where the tenderness is okay uh, then he go, any he palpable see not see not when you talk i will answer it okay you are going to look at the tender point this radial head is the tender point every every yes. every other place is fine yes uh, i will examine the three point relation of the elbow uh, okay the, there is no dislocation uh, yes uh, then then i will start moving the uh, try to move uh, elbow supination and pronation whether it is Excellent. painful okay so that's what you are looking for uh, supination pronation what are you looking for why you are worried uh, to assess the uh, radio capitula uh, uh, dr uh, uh, wait wait wait, wait. see now you, you you got a minus there because uh, the pronation supination is not for uh, your radio capitula joint okay till then you are fine okay but something else what you are looking for is a rotational problem supination pronation here what we are looking for is a mechanical block isn't it yes sir uh, okay go on so there is a mechanical yeah. block pronation supination is highly reduced yeah. i can tell you this is a displaced fracture so how do how do you manage this patient uh i will try to fix the radial if it is a sim, uh, simple fracture uh, and with a stable elbow uh, wait, wait, wait 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 what do you mean by a simple fracture you are unnecessarily uh, you know, putting other you know, unnecessary words into examine his mouth okay we don't have time so other, other way, so i am not going to pick you on that okay go on uh, i will fix the uh, radial uh, radial duct with screw Okay, this is, I can tell you, this is a, a radial head fracture extending into the neck. Combinated radial head fracture extending into the neck. It's a, uh, two parts of a radial head and um, dissociation of the head and neck. Uh, if it is fi uh, fixable, uh, I will try to fix the radial head uh, or uh, if severely comminuted, I will go for... No, no, fixation. You are, you, are, you are committed to fix now, okay. So what else? Uh, rather than screw, what else you can use? Uh, play, uh, plate, sir. Okay, plate and screw, isn't it? What is your surgical approach then? Uh, Cocker and Kaplan to approach a surgeon. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. no uh, okay, be precise. What are you going to do? Which which approach you are going to do? Uh, Cocker approach. Okay. Is uh, uh, why you want to select a Cocker approach? It's your choice. You can come out. There's no no right and wrong answer. Okay, so you you can explain. You are right. This is the best place. You can be very free. Yeah. Yeah. Just discuss. The more you talk, the more points you will exactly. get. Exactly. Uh, Srinath, you uh, said you said the answer should be. I'm familiar with that. Okay, I'm very confident with that. So the examiner, you, suppose you don't know the Kaplan's approach. And you committed the Kaplan's approach. You can tell, always tell. I am familiar with the uh, uh, um, the uh, Cocker's approach, but I know the theory of the Kaplan's. Finish. Then in, Kap okay. uh, in Kaplan. You? Yeah, Kaplan's, Kaplan's or uh, uh, Cocker's. Okay, you will go with the Cocker's approach. What is the problem with the Cocker's approach uh, compared to Kaplan's? Uh, exercising the collateral ligament. Uh... Which collateral ligament you are talking about? Lateral collateral ligament. Okay. How many parts? Of, <laughs> how many parts? It's a lateral collateral ligament complex. You, uh, two you, part, open that, you open that discussion. Okay. Two parts. Okay. Oblique. oblique so we, will keep that, we will keep that third part for me. Okay. Oblique. Okay. Oblique. Hello. He's the first year guy. 
no 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 ah, okay. no sir somebody somebody is talking sir ah, okay okay fine okay fine okay, fine, fine. Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, sir, lateral collateral ligament consists of two part oblique and anterior. Uh, okay, you are you are, you are completely mixed up with the uh, medial collateral ligament, ulnar collateral ligament. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll come to that. So uh, I will usually go with the uh, Kaplan's approach. That is my favorite approach. Okay. And I think most of the shoulder shoulder and bone surgeons uh, go for a Kaplan support, and there's a reason for that. Where do you uh, uh, place your plate then? Uh, from uh, in neutral uh, rotation of the forearm, uh, okay. in neutral position, mid prone position. Yeah. Uh, the arc is from the uh, radius tilo to distal tilo. Excellent. Distaste. Excellent. See, the, the, these are, uh, there are certain buzzwords the examiner want to hear, okay? So, so long as you, you come out with a buzzword in the answer, you will get a beer tick, okay? So, what you, you, the buzzer word, you didn't utter that was a buzzer word. It's a safe zone, okay? Safe zone. Safe zone, okay. So, what you said is exactly correct. Very good. So, it's a safe zone, is a, your, it's a, how many degrees of, are there in the safe zone? 90. Ah, 90 to 100. 90. Okay, 90 to 100. Very good. Excellent. So that is why we are going to put the plate. Okay, that's my favorite approach here. 26 year old techie guy, very active. So I will fix it. Um, I will try to fix it uh, as long as it's possible. Okay, I, I don't want to take it out. Okay, so Kaplan's approach, safe zone. And what are the complications of uh, um, uh, you? You said the uh, caucus approach. So caucus approach, you said there is an injury to. Chance of injury to your lateral collateral ligament lateral. complex. Out of that, I will pick on that. It's a ulnar lateral collateral ligament. Okay? Sir. Uh, ulnar radial ulnar lateral collateral ligament. Okay? Ulnar lateral collateral ligament. So that, what happens if uh, the ulnar lateral collateral ligament is gone? Uh, the radial head will become unstable. Uh, how unstable? Any, any buzzword there? Uh, if you can come Lateral. up with a buzzword, you will get a bigger tick. Okay, come on. Uh, virus instability. instability. Okay, you, virus. You, you, you didn't quite uh, um, earn that bus, uh, that uh, that bigger tick. Okay, try one, one more try. It's uh, on the postural lateral aspects. That is a clue. Postural lateral instability. Excellent. So, PLRI. Okay, PLRI is one of my most favorite subject. Okay, PLRI. So, you will end up with a PLRI. Okay, have you seen the PLRI? Uh, have you seen a patient with the PLRI? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Um, not quite right with that. Uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> it's not very confirmatory, yes. Okay, uh, it's very rare to see. Okay, and uh, uh, today you will get a chance to see a video on PLRI. Okay, very good. So, what are the complications you can expect? No. Uh, uh, Ten yeah, uh, more. Uh, we are closing in on ten minutes. Okay, fine. But two, so two more questions. Uh, uh, Srinath, it's a Kaplan's approach. You got a chance of uh, that is going a bit more anterior. So with chance of a posterior nerve palsy. And if you go with the, uh, your caucus approach, the chance that you will not injure uh, the uh, posterior nerve, but there's a chance that you can cut the um, ulna, radial mm -hmm. lateral ligament. Okay. So PLRI. So these are the complicated. Thank you. Very good. Very nicely presented. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good. Okay. Next pick. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, yes, good sir. job, Shina, sir. Now I think uh, Nizaj, are you there? Nizaj. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I'm here. Ah, hi, Nizaj. Can you please take hi, this? Sir. Yeah. Okay. What, what is his name? Nizaj. Nizaj. Uh, what, what, which year are you on? Sir, I'm a post, I mean, practical uh, expert. Excellent. Oh, that's what I want. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, this, see, this is a friendly uh, chart, okay? So this is a practice exam. This is a practice. You can say whatever you want. I will correct it, okay? Okay, okay this is a 25-year-old uh, uh, um, male chap from Middle East, okay? He's from Oman. High velocity trauma, he was involved in a high speed in a car, car accident, head on collision. He had a head injury. He was uh, uh, in ITU for um, uh, nearly a month and he recovered and he had an elbow injury. Okay. okay. Um, this is two years post injury. Can you read that? Uh, 
uh, the picture. Uh, this is a, a plain X-ray of a. Uh, okay. Uh, can it, can it, okay. It's, it's always better to say it's a plain radiograph. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Plain radiograph. Plain radiograph of a, a lateral view of uh, elbow joint. Okay. Showing uh, diffuse. Uh, um, I mean, uh, bone formation around the elbow. Yeah. Uh, probably ankylosed and uh, ankylosed elbow. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. You can't comment on that, uh, whether it is ankylosed or not, uh, till you see the movement, isn't it? So, on the radiograph, what you can comment? Uh, sir, uh, excessive uh, bone formation around the anterior and posterior aspect. Okay. So, what, what can you say the diagnosis? Uh, can be uh, heterotopic ossification. Excellent. So, it could be. See, I have given enough clue. High velocity injury, uh, elbow trauma. He was in ITU with a head injury. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now you want to see whether it is uh, ankylosed or not, isn't it? Yes. Okay. He still got some movement. Yes. Still got some movement. Okay. okay. It's only 10 degree, but still got movement. So it's not ankylosed, it's a heterotrophic ossification. So you got the diagnosis. So what investigation you want to do in a patient like this? Like this? Uh, so first of all, you need to uh, get an X-ray. Then we need to uh, look at whether the uh, HO is matured or not. So we'll uh, go with some yeah. blood investigations like uh, uh, alkaline phosphatase. Uh, if it is, uh, uh, that is to look at for the maturity of the uh, in, uh, HO. Uh, sir, hello. First of all, I'll uh, take a, get an X-ray uh, and uh, X-ray showed this. Uh, so I'll uh, look at uh, some in. Hello. Look up some investigation yes, to see uh, whether the uh, whether the uh, HO is matured or not, uh, because the yeah. management is based on that. So uh, yeah. first, uh, in blood investigation, we look at the ALP. If the ALP is uh, significantly okay. high, uh, the HO is still ongoing. So we'll, uh, uh, I mean, it is not matured enough. So uh, what, other, what, other, what other investigation you want? Uh, um, then I'll uh, uh, I'll get a uh, Can we go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, then okay. I'll Fine. get a CT. Yeah, that's what it shows. Okay. Um, what about a CT? CT scan, yes, sir. I'll go for a CT. Okay. Is a, is a, is a, something is a, some something some structures are like stress there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, not clear. Uh, hello. Yes, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Um, what are the predisposing factors for a atrophic ossification? Uh, sir, uh, head injury. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, around elbow is more prone for uh, HO. Yep. Uh, head injury, then spinal cord injury. Uh, okay. Uh, then prolonged, uh, I mean, uh, massaging. Yep. yep. Then, um, then prolonged, uh, I mean, uh, the amount of uh, soft tissue condition I mean, at the time of Good. injury. And Hello. prolonged immobilization. Yeah. 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 Is it, is it audible? Is it clear? Or is it yes, still yes, disturbed? Yes, sir. Yes. Clear, clear. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, what are the things? See, that, that's a stock question for the exam, okay? Yeah. So you need to come out with the dish, ankylosing spondylitis, previous history of a heterotrophic ossification, okay? These are the yes. answers. Yes. Okay? So yes, don't sir. forget, you will be asked the same question in the hip as well. Yeah. Okay, fine. So how do we prevent it? Uh, first, um, uh, 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 trauma avoid uh, massaging any um, uh, Good. after injury. Then okay. can I uh, give an uh, NSID like endometacin? Uh, endometacin, yeah. Yeah. How long um, will you give? Sir, uh, three weeks. Yeah. Can you make it six weeks then? Yeah. Okay. Six, That's what six, the book says, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, Anything else? Then. Uh, uh, any uh, alternative? Uh, then I uh, can give a, uh, a radiation. Low dose radiation. Good. Low dose radiation. Yeah. 
very good okay when you say radiation you should uh, qualify it as a low low dose okay yes fine okay what approach you will do um, and uh, and so that it can go uh, posterior approach okay you need a universal posterior approach so yes. that you can reach everywhere reach okay. okay so what are, what are the structures in danger here Uh, sir, and you go for posterior press triceps. We are splitting the triceps. Okay. Uh, then. Um, okay. Uh, Something else is uh, uh, in a stretch land, unstretched, isn't it? Al alna na injur. Alna na, excellent, yeah. excellent. So alna, what will you do with the alna now? So I will uh, uh, can isolate the now and can we may uh, can transpose and then. uh you, you will release the nerve okay uh, and uh, you can what, what attract is, it anteriorly what is the best word for that can uh neurolysis neurolysis you do a neurolysis yes yeah? yeah yes neurolysis can i ask you at this juncture can i ask you what is external neurolysis what is internal neurolysis mm mm Go on. Uh, Have a guess. External neurolysis means uh, to uh, remove the additions around um, the spectrum. Exactly. Separate, Ex uh. Exactly. So if we can come out with the word, say I will do an external neurolysis, and if the, there is a fibrosis, I will go ahead with the internal neurolysis. The examiner will be impressed, and you will get a bigger tick. Okay. Yeah, yes. Good. Right. Next one. Okay, for twenty minutes. Ah, yes. Yes. Next. Um. Who is that? Next, Abin. Abin Muhammad. Yes, sir. Abin. Yeah. Ah. You are present. Yes, okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Fine. This your case is forty-two year old male. It's a manual laborer. Fell off scaffolding twelve feet high. Swollen, painful elbow. Uh, sir, it's a case of uh, it's a case of elbow dislocation, uh, terrible triad, elbow dislocation, or not fracture, and also radial head dis radial head fracture is there. So, if you can come out with the other sequence, okay, he has got a elbow dislocation. Uh, seems that a radial head is fractured and coronoid fracture. So, I will call it as a terrible triad. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so are you happy with this imaging? Uh, and no, sir. Uh, it's not a true lateral image. Okay, so what what else you want? It's a painful elbow. So what what other investigation or imaging? Uh, to know the uh, so, uh, yeah, come on. Do you know the bony anatomy is CT CT scan? Yeah, CT scan. Mm -hmm. CT scan. Yeah, you you won't fumble there. Okay, immediately come out with the CT scan. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So I don't think it's the, the CT is there. Um, a CT shows a radial head displaced radial head fracture with the uh, coronoid fracture. Okay. So you said the diagnosis okay. investigation. So what is the uh, pathomechanics uh, in terrible triad? Why it is called terrible triad? uh terrible triad uh, uh, because uh, the uh, st uh, stabilizers of the uh, elbow joints are damaged uh, first uh, lateral um, uh, first lateral ulnar collateral ligament is damaged then uh, I, then uh, then the anterior and posterior capsule of the elbow joint is damaged and then uh, if the force is significant enough then uh, the posterior band of the anterior collateral ligament is damaged and uh, if it is even more force is there then the anterior uh, band of the medial collateral ligament is also damaged okay so what you see from this is all the stabilizers of the elbow are gone so that is why it's a uh, it's a, a mechanic is it so how do you manage this uh, we have to uh, Uh, we have to fix the uh, 
uh, we have to uh, reduce the uh, elbow and fix the okay. coronoid fracture. And uh, with that, we have to uh, reconstruct the lateral aldan collateral ligament. If the if there is uh, stability after this procedure, we have to uh, we we have to look for a valgus uh, stress to know about the um, uh, status of the um, and uh, status of the medial collateral ligament. If the medial collateral what ligament. What about the radial head? There's a radial head fracture. Uh, sir, radial head fixation need to be done. Okay. Fixation, coronoid fracture fixation and uh, repair of the lateral and lateral collateral ligament. How do you how do you fix the coronoid? Coronoid is fixed by the posterior approach uh, by putting uh, posterior approach and uh, fixing uh, from posterior uh, to uh, yeah. So you put a you yeah. put a screw, is it? From posterior to end. Okay, I will stop you there. Uh, how do you classify the coronoid fracture? Uh, coronoid fracture is. Uh, Classified based on Regan Mora classification uh, okay. is uh, used uh, for in type one. There is uh, only tip of the coronal process involved in type two. Okay, what is what is attached to the tip? Uh, biceps, biceps, biceps. Break, uh, break calysis is attached to the tip of the coronal process. Okay, you almost lost your mark there, biceps. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, fine. Okay, it's not a uh, uh, break calysis, something else. It's not very significant as well. It's a type one. It's a it's only capsule, okay? Okay. Ah, type two. What is type two? Uh, type two is uh, less than uh, less than fifty percent of the uh, coronoid is. Yeah. Coronoid what is attached there? there? What is attached there? In that fifty percent. Your first answer comes there, okay? And break, break calis. Break calis, yes. Break calis is attached there, okay. Uh, what is type three? Type three, more than fifty percent of the coronoid is damaged. Okay, fine. Up to the base of the coronoid is gone. Okay. Now, when the, when there is a type three, there are two problems. Your anterior strut is lost. Mm, and the okay. strut okay. is lost as well as. You got a, something attached to the medial facet of uh, the uh, uh, the coronoid. What is that? Medial, medial facet, andromedial facet. It's, uh, something no. very important thing. Uh, medial collateral ligament. Yeah, ulnar uh, collateral ligament. Was, which part of uh, ulnar collateral ligament? And, anterior band of ulnar collateral. Anterior band. Okay, that is the primary constraint. Okay. Fine. What are the complications? Uh, sir, uh, complications is uh, um, post-lateral uh, post post rotational instability of the uh, post-lateral rotational instability of the elbow joint. No. No, no. What else is there? What else is there? Uh, so... Stiffness, isn't it? Oh, stiff. Oh, stiff. Yeah, stiffness is there. Yeah. Okay. And what else? Oh, what are the things? We just present another right. case, isn't it? A sir, my is it? Um, heterotrophic ossification. Heterotrophic. So all these patients you treat with what? Uh, sir, uh, mobilization, immediate mobilization. And? Any profile axis? Uh, uh, Heterotrophic ossification, endometathism profile axis. Endometathism profile axis, okay, very good, very good. Okay, we, we are talking. Uh, I don't think we will discuss the stabilizers of elbow now because uh, we need to move on to the next one. Okay? Yes, sir. I am audible, isn't it? I am audible. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, fine. Next one. Badu. We'll call Andrew Juice. Uh, Andrew Juice, uh, are you there? Ah, okay. Go on. Hi, Dr. Andrew. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, yes. Can you take this case? Yeah. yeah, this is a 44 year old. You can hear me now, isn't it? 
yes sir yes yes sir very clear ah. this is a 44 year old civil worker at the age of 35 she had oh something happened okay at the age of 35 years she had a radial uh, head fracture okay radial head fracture which was uh, uh, treated by with excision excision okay. on radial head and 5 years later she was traveling in a bus and uh, holding the arm upwards and she had a sudden jerk since then she has got pain and difficulty yeah oh yes. ah, okay so what can you can you read that yes doctor and doctor this is a plain radiograph of uh, uh, elbow joint uh, showing uh, uh, a distend of humerus re, uh, ulna and uh, radius without head there is you uh, can say that it's an elbow isn't it yes sir uh, <laughs> calcification is a yes sir Car calcification sir uh, seen in the anterior and posterior aspect of the joint and okay. uh, coronoid fracture now i told you the history 5 years ago had a radial excision and they treated with a radial excision okay radial head excision so you can read that So loss of radial head, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, on the AP view, AP view. Is the there's an angulation, isn't it? Yes, sir. Now, so what do you expect here? some postural instability no no radial head is gone so on the ap view what can you see what is the deformity deformities uh, virus deformity yes it's a virus deformity is it a virus deformity or something else that x ray doesn't show the position isn't it that's why you are with uh, you are confused it's a valgus deformity okay uh, okay sir okay that's what we expect as well so how do you manage that so what happened i can tell you what happened was uh, she had uh, already stressed the uh, ulnar collateral ligament okay over the I'm last sure. five years attenuation of ulnar collateral ligament and uh, a sudden jerky movement it ruptured because there is nothing on the radial side to support it so she had yes, already had a radial head excision now ulnar collateral ligament uh, ruptured oh okay sir. ruptured 5 years ago patient came 5 years later to me after the injury oh. second injury so what oh, is okay. what did you do Uh, we had to plan for the repair of ulnar collateral ligament or wait wait five years later the patient came so there's nothing to repair hmm. so what will you do total is boring ah come on come on come on there is nothing to repair there but you have to reconstruct it total elbow replacement is that the only way of uh, repairing it uh, or reconstructing it so for acl uh, acl injuries you will do a total knee replacement is that right no no other what will you do you will take a graft from somewhere isn't it mm, acl reconstruction sir and you, you will reconstruct the acl so similarly think about in that line oh okay sir 
So, so you we have to take us the we have to reconsider the uh, ulnar collateral ligament. Excellent. So, what? Uh, which sort of graft will you take? From what is uh, which graft can be spared, or which? Uh, I'll I'll give you a clue. A tendon can be taken from the upper lip. Palmaris longness. Palmaris longness. Okay. So you need to you need to test for primary longness whether the primary longness is not the, is there or not, isn't it? So how do you test the primary yes. longness? Uh, things pre-operatively you need to make sure that there is a primary longness, isn't it? Yes, sir. Make a yeah. fist uh, actually uh, actually make a fist over the hand and. Uh, uh, palmar flexion against resistance. Okay, so this this way, it's not the fix, it's not the fix. You can do that, and you can see the provenance of the tendon. Yeah. Okay, so preoperatively, you need to make sure that the palmar is longest tendon. Uh, Fine. So how do you uh, postoperatively? How do you rehabilitate? And you will have a radial head replacement as well, shape that. Okay. Yeah. We need to protect it, isn't it? Okay. With so what, is that, elbow. What, is, what is that shown? Hinged elbow. Yeah, it's a hinged elbow. It's a dynamic elbow stabilizer, isn't it? Okay. So that's all what you need to know. Hinged elbow or a dynamic elbow stabilizer. You don't have to know the company name or whatever. Okay, the, you need yes, to sir. know the principle. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Balu, next one. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm just... uh, Doctor Jitin. Who is it, Jitin? Uh, Jitin. Doctor Jitin. Uh, yeah. Good. Jitin. Oh, Jijin. Jijin. Jijin, ah. sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jijin. Okay, go on. Jijin is a 36-year-old homemaker lady. Yes. Elbow pain for last three months. And you can see where she is pointing at. It's the lateral aspect of the elbow. What's your diagnosis? Uh, sir, tennis elbow. Okay, can you make uh, a differently? Lateral epicondylitis. Uh, I don't think this 36 year old homemaker is uh, ever played at tennis. Lateral epicondylitis. Lateral epicondylitis, yeah. That should be the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. So, um, just, ah, okay. What are the differential diagnoses? Uh, so, uh, is there any trauma, sir? No, no, no trauma. This can be easily come in the exam, okay? This can easily come in the exam and also theory as well. Differential diagnosis. Come. Yeah, infection. Sir. Infection, and yeah. Cellulitis. Yeah, cellulitis. Three months uh, cellulitis is a very unlikely. Go on. Any degeneration there? Maybe osteoarthritis or monoarticular arthritis. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Other, otherwise, what, what else can be? Yeah, radio capital joint. What, what can happen to capitulum? Yeah. Capitulum.
ോയി <laughs> is a very simple questions but you should come out with that okay so it's a radial tunnel syndrome monoarticular arthritis avian of avian capitulum capitulum for that matter trauma okay fine so how do you manage it three uh, three months uh, history as uh, so with the uh, uh, nsid so yeah for pain management okay then uh, then uh, for our uh, we'll go do an active exercising of the common flexor common uh, you lost point there common extensor sir extensor okay okay We, what sort of exercise uh, the, uh, yeah buffer buffer isometric exercise isometric okay. yes. yeah then she is a homemaker she is going to cook right handed any tip uh you say arm band around the mobile band okay more than that activity modification okay thank you yes sir so she she will be cooking uh, she will be stirring something she will be holding a knife and uh, cutting so what you need to do is we need to increase the grip of uh, whatever she is uh, holding it. if she is holding a knife you need to increase the grip of the knife so what you can do is a, you can use a kitchen towel and uh, wrap on the, to the uh, knife handle knife. And, and then hold it so that less pressure is needed so it it will be less stress on the lateral epicondylitis and what is the what is the pathology here what is the pathology what single structure is involved fasciitis which one which, which single structure is involved epicondyle bulging okay i can tell you this is a very common uh, problem it will come in the exam and it can be asked in the exam for the theory as well okay for i want i, I, I don't want to lose time now so it's a extensor carpi radialis brevis okay ecrb yes. attachment of a ecrb tendon to the lateral epicondyle epicondyle is a degeneration and inflammation okay so first okay. three months what is the natural history huh? what is the natural history of uh, uh, this uh, um, lateral epicondylitis okay for that matter i will i will give you the clue it's a 4 to 6 months okay natural history 4 to 6 months and if it's not settling you will go for a, a some other modality like a injections steroid injections yes. okay yes sir and some people use as a, a prp which is a, a, um, not universally acceptable and if it goes uh, beyond 6 months or a resistant type you will go for a surgery okay yes sir yeah so it can be arthroscopic very fancy one or you can have a mini open a 2 yes. 2 cm one so what are you going to do in the surgery first of all what will you do for this in surgery okay uh, you may may not have, have you seen any tennis elbow surgery no sir okay fine this is a 2 cm incision of the uh, right on the lateral epicondyle uh, lateral epicondyle 
you need to identify your uh, ecrb ecrb is uh, deep to the um, your ecrl okay yes sir okay. you got a three muscles of a mobile ward which is coming uh, which is commonly originating and the, the deepest one is ecrb ecrb yeah open there and uh, uh, curate it, curate it out and some people especially the american surgeons they do multiple drilling as well so that you can get some prp and the sort of thing okay <laughs> and that that is a surgery okay value we got uh, okay uh, sorry uh, yes, complications of surgery the surgery uh, injury uh, injury to the um, posterior process now picture No, 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 uh, no. We are, we are not butchers. We are surgeons. We are very, very precise. Uh, okay. So the, the, uh, no, 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 no. We, we need. A, it's very specific. Okay. One is a uh, one is a fistula, synovial fistula. Yes, Second one is a your um, uh, your. radial ulnar collateral ligament injury these are the two very specific injuries okay yes, very rare very rare but can happen so when you are presenting in theory or when you are asked in the exam in a viva or a patient coming up for the short case these are the things you are you are expected to answer okay these are the questions and uh, i can guarantee you there won't be any more questions on this this these are the questions you are going to be asked okay this looks very 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 innocent and very um, basic questions but you need to be aware of that okay yes sir thank you yes. balu balu ah, yes sir. some more doctor rasim uh, okay what is shall we go ahead yes ah okay yes yes sure sir uh, doctor uh, rasim pick one pick one Dr. Rasim Pillayan, yeah. I don't know who is that. Okay. Rasim. Rasim. Okay. This is a twelve-year-old, twelve-year-old okay. uh, restricted forearm rotation. This was noticed by the parents at seven years. It's on bilateral as well. No pain. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. This is congenital radial nerve stenosis. Excellent. Can can gentle ready or na? Uh, 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 Sinus sinus stosis. How many are bilateral? Sixty percent. Oh, excellent. Sixty percent. What else? How how many are the familial? One third, sir. Ah, okay. The, nearly twenty percent are familial. What is the what is the genetic uh, a uh, transmission autosomal recessive autosomal recessive okay for that matter i can tell you you should never ever tell autosomal recessive in those conditions okay that is uh, purely related to your enzyme problem so if you want to take a chance okay, so always sort of normal dominant okay Okay, that, that is a tip, tip for the exam. Any questions asked, you, if you are not sure, autosomal dominant, or you will keep your mouth okay, shut. Sir. Okay. Either of these two. Autosomal recessive is always related okay, to sir. your enzymatic changes. Okay. Okay. okay fine. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. let me see. Oh, uh, come on. Why is not moving? Ah, okay, fine. Uh, I think that that I kept as a very spot up. Okay, failure of differentiation and sixty percent bilateral is autosomal dominant with the. Uh, is the typical thing is is a late presentation. Okay, it, it is presented at, at the age of six years, seven years, average six seven years. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, so it's always congenital. This is. Uh, Even though presentation is by six seven years, it's not congenital. Okay, 
and uh, there are as- some in if it is asked in the theory exam there are associated syndromes carpenter syndromes upper upper syndrome and uh, clean felter syndrome those those are the three things you need to remember for the theory exam you don't have to worry about the classification balu next spotter ah yes sir um thank you thank you balu yes sir dr bhagiraj subramanian are you there bhagiraj bhagiraj subramanian are you there i kept a very easy one for you come on take can take, uh, take, take are you there no no he just got disconnected so okay okay we will we'll ask uh, uh, dr rajendra rajendra come on are you there dr rajendra next one or or any any volunteers It's a very simple one. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah. Abdullah. Abdullah. Yeah. Abdullah. Yes. Yes. Please. Yes. Please. Please. Sure. Who is that? Who is that? Uh, Abdullah, sir. Abdullah. Okay. Uh, watch this video. Abdullah Roshan. Okay. Fourteen-year-old. No pain. Okay. Abdullah. Parents are Abdullah. concerned. She is not concerned. She likes this. Okay what is the diagnosis Sorry I don't know sir No no you you, you just just go ahead with that just think about that There are there are people who does it isn't it all joints movement extra movement Like a eastern european ballet dancers Elastic all movements she she for her it is possible to do any sort of movement so what is it Hyperelastic. Yeah. What is it? No, no, sir. It's a lax ligament, isn't it? A lax joint. Yes, sir. Yes. So she is not concerned. She doesn't have any pain. So it's a. Hyperelastic. Generalized ligament laxity. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Sir. The same thing happens uh, everywhere in the shoulder. by lat my question is so how do how, you know how to take a beaten score yes sir what is it just tell me uh so first i have to what is the total look. what is what is the total a total we have to look for uh, nine sir nine fine and w- when will you call the um generalized ligament laxity when it is more than 6 sir Oh, more than five is fine. Okay, so I, mean, I just wanted to show you. That's all. Uh, I will. I will let you know. But it's a autosomal dominant, as I said. Okay. If you are not, if you are not sure, it's a autosomal dominant. Ten percent variable expressibility. Okay. Okay. Sir. See what I'm t- telling is that these are the these are the buzzwords. Okay. Various varying expressibility. That's why uh, uh, in the family, not everyone gets it. Okay. Okay. And for that matters, twenty percent of uh, Indians has got it. Okay. Sir. And what is the part of physiology? Uh, collagen. Okay, elastic collagen. Collagen. Uh, 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 okay, that's the, that's the problem. Now, wh- can you tell me some association? The Marfan syndrome. Yes. and ehlers danlos syndrome very good how uh, about then it can be associated with cardiac problems also sir no 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 that is you are going into marfan's one more thing as an orthopedic surgeon how can you forget that orthopedic surgeon how can you forget that osteogenesis imperfecta ah okay <laughs> okay fine uh, and the commonest one is Benign, benign generalized no 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 benign generalized ligament laxity okay okay balu next one 
thank you thank you yes Bye. good good ah uh, yes yes sir uh, 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 akshay akshay dr akshay are there um last no. uh, dr bivin lal bivin lal bivin sir Yes, anyone sir. yeah anyone yeah. yes. bivin lal is there sir bivin lal is there yeah quickly yeah take, take this as an opportunity to you know just practice speaking so it, it really helps you okay, okay look, sir, look at the video watch this video watch this video <laughs> okay look at the elbow there okay? okay look at the elbow you need to Okay look at the elbow there look at the elbow there he is going to rotate his uh, fora look carefully now now can you see that did you see that mm. did I you see that it. okay one small one small look at there okay uh, look at there look at there look at there in a minute okay did you see that mm -hmm. ah, yes sir okay uh i will show you once again because you might not have seen and you may not get a chance to see very clearly this one okay what is it what is the diagnosis what is coming out uh, radial head sir radial head there's only one structure coming out and which one which way it is going anteriorly or posteriorly Uh, uh it's it's getting subluxated and relocating yeah uh, so can you give me the diagnosis diagnosis we just discussed uh, so can it be lateral daughter instability sir sorry what can it be posterior lateral daughter instability yes, plri exactly this is plri okay okay sir okay it's very difficult uh, you know it's very difficult to see because uh, you you will not come across uh, this sort of uh, injuries uh, in the day to day practice because uh, i am I'm, i'm getting and for that matter this was referred from amrita 2 years ago okay well, what is the pathophysiology say injury of the lateral ulnar ulnar collateral ligament complex okay exactly the lateral ulnar collateral ligament is the one which is supporting the posterior lateral aspect of the radial head so how do you manage it is only uh, uh, four weeks four weeks after injury uh, we can That try for a repair a repair okay it's only four weeks if is going beyond 3 months then you you may not be able to repair it you will have to reconstruct it okay sir thank you oh, very good very nicely yeah uh balu uh, um dr jijin are you there dr jijin maybe once again okay, okay. Or, you go um... ahead can i show you the okay. yes sir okay go on 42 year old male techi atia two wheeler injury can you see what you can see there is a you can see lot of abrasion yes sir what am i testing uh parastability valgus valgus uh, is a okay yeah it's a valgus instability okay yes, so there is no end point like a, 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 what you do in the acl there is no definite end point yes, here point. okay because yes. MCL the ulna collateral ligament. Which part of the ulna collateral ligament is gone there? Most probably anterior band. It's not probably, definitely. <laughs> okay. For that matter, anterior ulna collateral ligament is the primary constraint. <laughs> okay. Fine. I just want to show you. So, how do you test for a valgus instability? What position of the elbow? 
What position you want to keep the elbow? Elbow should be extended. Okay. And and uh, and in thirty degree of, and also in thirty degree. No, it's a thirty degree extension. What what? You mean thirty degree flexion? Thirty degree flexion. Okay. Twenty to thirty degree flexion. Why you want to do that? You are right, but you need. I need an answer. Why? Mm. See all to these make, tests. The uh, ease, to make the uh, olecranon free from olecranon forces. Yes, but so it is unlocking the olecranon. Okay, mm. and you want to unlock the olecranon. Olecranon. Okay. Good. That, that was the only thing I want to ask in that uh, uh, thing. Okay, fine. Uh, so, how to test which factor? Management. I don't uh, think we need to go to the end. Balu, Doctor Srijit, last one. Last one. Yes. Srijit, yes. Yeah. Yes. This is plain X-ray radiograph. And uh, maybe this is a twenty-year-old student. Okay, injury happened at the age of ten years, and somebody did a radial head excision at the age of ten. I still don't know why. Uh, okay, uh, and this is uh, you, if you can read that now, she cannot lift up anything. Uh, showing the uh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Mr. and the red, uh, radius, proximal radius without the radial head, with the uh, Sorry. Uh, sir, angulation at elbow. Yes, valgus angulation at elbow. So it's a valgus instability, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. So the diagram, so you can see that the right hand is the culprit. Okay, right side is the culprit. You can see the exaggerated valgus angulation. And as soon as she lifts up something, it just goes off. She cannot hold things. Okay. So we, you know the diagnosis now. What is the diagnosis? Uh, so keep it as with the tardy and No, 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 no. She cannot lift up anything. No power. It goes on to valgus. So instability, isn't it? It is. So the primary diagnosis is instability. Of course, she had a tardy ulnar palsy as well. That was the secondary diagnosis. Yes. So how do we proceed? Uh, sir, uh, just uh, initial uh, uh, C for uh, uh, any. Local on local examination, uh, you have to see for any swelling, uh, any scar marks. No, 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 no. It's a ten years ago. Patient uh, came from all the way from Malappuram. Uh, this is a ten years ago. She cannot lift up. She cannot write, and she is unable to go to uh, college now. She cannot pick up anything, uh, and she has got a ulnar nerve problem. As well, transmission of the Yeah, but that is a secondary problem, isn't it? Yes. How do you how do you um, address the primary problem? Uh, radial head replacement, sir. Okay, radial head replacement. reconstruction, sir. Okay, alna collateral ligament reconstruction. That's fine. You know how to reconstruct the ulnar collateral ligament? What, what what is this? Well, what do you what is the donor? Palmaris. 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 Yes, palmaris longus. Okay, we'll take palmaris longus, and uh, it's called a um, Tommy Jones uh, surgery. It's nothing. It's doing a figure eight sort of a, um, reconstruction on the medial side. Okay, going into the medial epicondyle. Medial condyle to uh, the medial aspect of uh, the coronoid. Okay, so that is the radial head. And uh, can you see that on the x ray? Uh, what I want you to comment is uh, looking at the radial head, the level of the radial head should be in line with the coronoid. Can you see on the AP view and lateral view? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That should be the level. Okay. So in the YY, you can be shown an x ray sometimes. Showing that um, the radial head is uh, way 
distal to the coronoid. So you can comment on that. Okay. Oh, thank you very much for that. Okay. So that is the ring concept of elbow instability. Good. So good luck for everyone who is going for the exam. Yes, how to how to balu? Okay. Hope 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 it was a bit uh, useful for the exam going guys. Yes, sir. very very good variety of cases and very important cases also. Especially the tennis elbow part. You know, we you get this in and out in our day to day OPD practice as well. Yeah, so, that's right. Yes, sir. It's it's, it's a very very uh, nice session, sir. You have covered very important uh, OSCEs, uh, and and uh, all the delegates were actually participating well. So we want Thank that you. sort Thank of you. A interaction. So yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. This sir, uh, Babu, Babu, Babu sir. Ah, yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> very good, <laughs> brother. Yeah, nice ten cases, of course, from the okay. basics to the uh, elbow. I mean, you covered almost all the topics there. Good, good presentation. Okay, I think uh, this uh, this home is a very humid. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm I'm pretty, uh, I was listening to all the your questions, Oskis, the way you interacted and you made them feel the real a uh, feel of the exam. That was really okay. nice. Sir. Thank you. And I know you are very busy and uh, taking time for being with the students is a really uh, good. Uh, I, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. We Malu, over to you. Yes, sir. We got an FRCS touch to that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the way you timed uh, the question, sir. Okay. Yeah, it was really nice. Was really nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Hope, okay. hope I believe you had a very, very, very good session and uh, we all learned lots, including me. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Good night. Thank you, Babu, okay. sir. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Good night, brother. Good night, everyone. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Th thanks to all, all students also. Thank you.